so this is Sasquatch Wizard at Rondex. Um, shortly after, hopefully I've um, showed you guys that video first where I just showed you I came up in and casted that track. We'll see. We'll see what it is, you know, when we get the cast up. I don't know what it is. Um, it's got really good toes, but I bring you in because, uh, hey, hey, get out of here. That's why. Get! Get! Uh, boy, oh boy. So the wildlife is wa alive and following me <laughs> yeah okay so okay son of a bitch these guys are getting pretty brave you know I've spent a lot of time in the woods and I've walked in and out of the woods in the dark I couldn't even tell you how many times trapped as a kid I'm wondering if these animals up here in research area too are just getting so used to me that they just are not afraid of me, follow me around. But I've got this video running so that, you know, one, I can talk a little bit because my heart's racing. And two, so I can talk a little bit because <laughs> my heart's racing. <laughs> oh shit, that bad. Where in the hell? Oh, I'm crying out loud. All right. <clears throat> well, go on! Son of a bitch. What is that following me? I don't feel like a real nimrod if this is a Sasquatch, but this, come on. Those feet are too light. Too light. Sounds like a, like a deer or a coyote. Something with like pranty feet. Chick, 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 chick. Like that. Whatever it was that that other time, just right after I turned the damn phone on, I mean, it was coming right up from behind me. Chit, 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 chit. And it just did it again, but it's a little bit further away. And I just heard, I know this is going to sound kind of stupid, but I am a uh, mile and a half, two miles up from my truck, so really actually in the woods wise from any house or even the first camp I'm two and a half three miles away I just heard a wood knock way off in the distance huh Good, good lord. Busy night, folks. I mean, a lot of times, there ain't much or nothing happening. That ain't the case tonight.
Huh. <laughs> oh, dear Jesus. Well, you know, if it wasn't for them damn coyotes, a couple close calls with those, <sighs> the bear, that bear is just constantly follows me around. I mean, I think what I might have to do, and I don't want to kill it. I don't want to hurt it. You know, I really don't. As much as I would like to smack that bear right in the face, just because he scares me is why. Because I dislike him. It's my problem, not his. If I wasn't afraid of him, it wouldn't be a problem. But, probably gonna have to let him sound to hear, or let him hear the sound of a gunshot. And, uh, I don't know, maybe throw some dirt up in his face or something, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I've really tried to reframe from any any of uh, cold steel up in here would be like that other than a couple instances where I had either my youngest daughter or actually when my second to youngest daughter and my son came up with me when we did that experiment yeah, you can't even see anything right what is going on here all right well I don't understand why you can't see. What's the problem here? Okay. Maybe yeah, that's better. Am I holding my finger over the thing? It won't make no sense that you can't see out in front of me like that. Uh, either way. Yeah, when I... Okay, that stinks. That could be beaver muck. Yeah, the water's wicked muddy. The beaver probably just came up through here. Um, when I brought them up here, I, uh, whoa! Yeah. You know, I did bring up the rifle Dylan, you know, held on to it. They felt much safer, and I don't blame them. I mean... This isn't for the faint of heart. There are imminent dangers in the woods. Many angles, self-inflicted, retardation, and wildlife. Uh, but, uh, you know, I pride myself in a fairly decent knowledge of the woods. And, uh, I don't bring a gun. <coughs> Hello, bear. Hello, bear. Let them know you're coming. You know, give them some time. Let them get out of there. And if he wants to eat you, well, it's on. You know, he's going to come after you. 99% of the time, if he's just out doing his thing, he's just going to mosey on out and get away from you. He not want nothing to do with you. <sighs> but, who we got here? Nine minutes. I might just cut this off and uh, whatever it is, I think I scared it away enough. I mean, I haven't heard anything come in. So yeah, I'm gonna shut this off and then what I'll do is turn the video back on, shut up, keep it in front of me just in case the chance of a lifetime i mean what if a sasquatch came rocked right out in the middle of the trail broadside 10 feet in front of me 
scream so hard, blew a little bit of hair I have right off my head. <laughs> I'd be glad that I had the cell phone pointing right at it. <laughs> but uh, either way, wish me luck. This uh, trail marker or eye shining.